All right, hello. In this video, I'm going to go over how to make multiple panels in a single frame. So this is a completed code. I just want to show you what you're working towards here. So when it's done, we'll have these buttons at the top and it'll switch panels. So I just made them different colors to see that they can switch pretty easily. Um, please know that you could have different events trigger this, like something happening and then you switch to the next panel. I just made it trigger off these buttons. So you don't have to do it that way, but you could adjust your code as necessary. And then I have this sound in here from, I don't know, I must've been trying sound in this project too. But anyways, this video is gonna go over how to make the multiple panels. Okay, so this is a completed one. So I'm gonna start all over from scratch and I'm gonna do new uh, class. No, not class, a new J frame. So I'm going to do new other Windows Builder Swing Designer JFrame. I'm just going to call it multiple panels. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the design tab and kind of get everything set up first. Okay, so I'm going to click on, this is actually a panel called Content Pane. And as always, I'm going to set the layout to Absolute here to start. Okay, and then I'm, whoa, what happened? Sorry about that. And then I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to click on this and drag it, make it a little bit bigger so I have a little more real estate to work with. Okay, and before I start putting in all the panels, I'm going to make something called a Layered Pane. So I'm going to click right here, J layered pane, and I'm going to click it in here. Okay, and I'm going to resize it. I'm going to click here and resize, drag it down here, make it a little bit pretty big, Let's leave a little space up here for buttons. Okay, so I got my layered pane. So this is just a component that basically allows me to build layers in one location, like one piece of real estate and build layers on top of it. Okay, and to do that, I'm just going to add multiple panels. So I'm going to click here and add uh, inside my J layout pane. Make sure the layout's actually set to absolute, which it is already, so that's good. I'm just going to click inside of here, okay? And it looks like, for whatever reason, it didn't actually put it on the layered pane. So I'm going to take it over here and drag it and see if I can just drag it. Okay, so now it's actually inside of the layered pane, right? So it's, it's up there, and I will actually make it big again. Should probably make it the same size as my layered pane, but we'll maybe figure that out later. Let's just put it in there for now. And I'm going to call this panel one. And maybe I'll add two more to my layered pane here. So I'm going to click on my J panel. I wonder if I can plus it right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm going to plus, put a couple more in there. Okay, and I'm going to again, I'm going to resize them. I want them. I should have watched the size and make these all the same, but too lazy to do that. Okay, and then so I'm going to rename these again. I'm going to call this panel two, panel three. Whoops. And I should change the colors too, just so I can tell that it's working. So I want to change, let's see, click on this one. See if I can change the color. I don't know if this is the right color. That doesn't look right. Is there a background? Oh, maybe I'll change the background color here. Wait, that didn't do anything yet. Well, hopefully it'll show up when I run it. Let's change this one to yellow. I'm just making them different colors. Make this one background blue. Okay, I'm going to run it once and see if it actually shows a panel to Color. Fantastic, it didn't. Well, maybe I got to get some other stuff set up. So let's keep plugging away here. But these are different colors at least, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Uh, so let's add the buttons that'll change. So they're just going to correspond to each panel. So I'm going to have three buttons. I know in my other demo it had a few more, but I'm just going to make three buttons. Sorry, this is kind of click intensive here. Okay, and it's annoying that they're not all lined up, so let's see if we can line them up here. Line up their tops like that. Okay, 
and then I'm just going to go through and change them. So I'm going to call this one panel one. So maybe I'll make this button one. And I'll say panel one. Okay, and then I'm going to pause the video and do the other ones here quick. All right, so I just went through and changed the name of the buttons, one, two, three, and then changed the text on to be panels one, two, and three. I'm not trying to make it look pretty here. I'm just trying to make it work. All right, so I was looking back through my old code, and I realized I forgot one step. In my layered pane here, I actually want this to be a card layout, not absolute. So I want to change it to card to let me build like little stacks of cards on top of it. So make sure that this is in card layout. Okay, and then we're ready to start coding the buttons. So basically, if I double click on the button, it'll take me into this code. All right, and what I'm actually going to make is a method called switch panels. Otherwise, the code ends up being really repetitive. So I'm going to make it switch panels, and I want to switch to panel one. So on button one, I switch to panel one. So I'm going to pass in which panel I want to switch to. So I name them like panel one, two, and three. So I'm going to do panel one here. Okay, and it's kind of complaining right now. Well, one, I don't have a switch panels method. So maybe I'll go down here and add that switch panels method. Um, and I'm actually copying this over from the other um, program I wrote. But basically what it does is it takes our layered pane, removes all the panels from it. It adds back the one we passed in, the one we want. And then repaint and revalidate just like redraws the screen. So after I change the panels, I have to repaint and revalidate. Okay, and so the, the problem I'm running into at this point is um, these code, these are local variables. So they're local only to this, looks like constructor. And so this is sort of like a separate set of code that's in like actually this button class. And so in order to give access, I have to make like these J panels, and I think I have to make my layered pane um, global variables. So I'm actually going to put them up here by the content pane. So I'm just going to add my private J panel. Uh, what was it called? Panel one, I think. And then I'm going to do private J panel. Panel two. Private J panel panel three, and then I have to do that layered pane. So that's a private, I think it's a J layered pane. I might have to come back and switch this. But I think I just call it layered pane, like that. Okay, so that they're accessible all over the place now. Okay, so if I go down here, um, I don't think I need to declare them anymore. I just need to set them. I'm going to delete all of these declaring them, because I already declared them as a type. I'm just going to Initialize them there. Then let's see. Now from OK here, and now I have access to layered pane there. So I just had to make them all global variables like that up top, and then change the declarations here. Okay. Cross my fingers, close my eyes. Let's run and see if we can get this thing to work. No, oh, no, disaster. All right. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my old code and see what I'm doing differently. Okay, sorry about that, but I went back and found my errors. So there was two problems I had. One, I forgot to set the actions on my other two buttons. So I had to go back into design, double click on the button to get the action event, and then make sure for button three, it just switches it to panel three. So I called my switch panels method, but with panel three in there. And same thing for button two. I don't know why this, oh, it's taking me to button three. That's weird, but it should have been taking me to this code so that button two sets it to panel two. So I just had to do it for both two and three, and I think I had forgot that step earlier. And then the part that was really annoying and messed me up was when I looked my J layered pane, the way I dragged it, it had made one of these bounds negative. So it was like this number was negative or something. So I'd like dragged it from the wrong corner, which yeah, I have a hard time even explaining that. But basically when I took it, I think I dragged this corner, like up, uh, let's see if I can do it here. This corner, I dragged it down past here. So it was like, if you can see it's negative on my screen there. So I had negative dimensions. So I had to like reset the stupid dimensions so that they're actually positive. And that's when it actually showed up and worked for me. And once I did those steps, then I can play it. And now it clicks and switches between the panels.
So sorry that I kind of messed up, but hopefully, you know, maybe you'll have that same issue and that'll help. So anyways, that's all I got. Please reach out if this doesn't work or if you have questions. Thanks for watching.